everybody, I am back. Um, I promised I would redo it, and I decided I'm going to redo it right now. And this time, I brought a pencil. So, for those who did not watch the first time around, what we are making today is pom pom fritters. And I um some lavender yarn. And I have, uh, excuse me, some pink yarn. You can use colors you want. You could use one color. Um, I like to use two colors and two shirts at the same time. Card. Scissor. Pencil. You want a round thing to follow? I'm using lid of some Marion berry preserves that my sister brought me from Oregon. And a quarter. And you want, if you're going to make it into a critter, that's for making the pom pom. If you're going to make it into a critter, you want some pipes and some googly eyes and some glue. So first what we're going to do, my glasses on so I can see what's going on. And hi everybody. I figure while well, we're all home from school, it's a good time to get an F to the video library so that everybody can try this. Take the circle, raise the circle onto the cord, and you want two of them exactly the same size. So I'm going to trace it in two spots. And the cardboard can come from anything. I happen to have an old pad that I was able to use the lid of. And then the quarter, here, let's cut these out first. It'll make life easier. So, put a nice scissor that'll get your cardboard and through your yarn. And I'm just cutting around the circle. Do the repair this time. I also have a very glass water from Justin's. Maybe it's fine. My throat gets dry when I talk. Plus, I don't know if you've noticed, but the trees have started budding. They're currently in my backyard. Because it was such a nice day today. I just to do I thought I'd be outside in the sun. And just because we're stuck home from school and everything doesn't mean that we can't be outside in our backyards playing or doing things. See, there's one circle. Get rid of the garbage. That's, you know what, I'm going to start getting like, right, right into that circle because I'm leaning up and I'm doing. Let's do this again. Thankfully, I have enough cards. There we go. This time, I'm going to pay attention while I cut. First, I'm just going to cut it away from the majority of the cardboard so you can get rid of that. And that's what I get for looking in clumsy watching me. Instead of going to be huh, anyways, anyway. You don't want to cut your fingers. That would be terrible. But anyway, we are from outside in my backyard. You can see behind me the back half of my backyard is actually forest. We get lots of critters. We get deer and foxes and coyotes and bears, wild turkey, lots of squirrels and chipmunks, bunnies. And then there's my other circles. I have two the same size. Now with the quarter. I'm going to make an inner circle smack in the middle. You want to get it as close to the center as you can. So I'm going to do that. Whoop, it moved. We're back. Okay, we disconnected for a minute, but now we're back. And you can see we're there. And now I'm going to cut another slot. So it makes it a V. See the V? Perfect. Okay, and now I'm cutting around the inner circle from the V so that I get a nice donut shape with a space cut it out. Like I already took a bite. Kind of like a very stylistic C. I do apologize for the reconnection. Uh, that's one of the things about deciding to do this outside. Is I'm not as close to my router as I ought to be, and I didn't think about that when I started to do this, but let's see how it works. Um, last time it worked for quite a long time. There we go. 
Now we're going to do the exact same thing in the other one. I'm going to line them up so I can cut the V to the same width. See? It's exactly the same width as the other one. And then I'm going to trace the inner circle that I've got rather than the quarter, so I know it's in exactly the same position within the circle. Put the quarter aside, and now let's cut out the inner circle on this guy. easier to start from the other side sometimes than to go. Anyway, we are in my backyard. We have, lots of own lots of we have dogs and cats inside. Dogs and cat. One cat. And we ha outside we have uh, chickens and bees. And we also have pigs and rabbits. But, alright. I've got the two in my yard together. So that's all ready to go. And the two donuts. I'm going to line up where it's cut out there. I'm going to start this again. So, I'm going to take this and place it so that it's mm -hmm. hanging off the edge there. Slide that in, and you want to wrap it once so that it overlaps. You see that, how it overlaps there? Because what you want it to do is that the next wrap holds that first one in place. See, now it's not going anywhere. And then, you're going to wrap all the way around the whole thing. Back and forth. You're going to go all the way around. Continue, continue, continue. And again, I forgot to mention what we're making. Oh no, I said pom-pom critters. We're going to make pom-poms, and then we're going to turn it into a critter for those of you who want to. If you have, if you don't have googly eyes around and you do want to make it into a critter, you can use a pair of old light buttons. And they don't even need to match. You could have crazy eyes on your critter and have it with non-matching buttons. But you're going to want them to be light so that when you glue them to the pipe cleaners, they don't drag it all down. The paper, the cardboard donut is facing towards you as long as your yarn is always going the same direction around. Otherwise, you start unraveling instead of wrapping. And you don't want to do that for sure. So, this video is going to be staying in the NJ Entertainer's Facebook page where it is now. I am also going to use it in my email newsletter that I have not yet done for March. I usually do a, an email every month, and if you would like to be part of that newsletter and see what's going on or if there are any sales or deals or anything like that you can pm me your email address and i'd be happy to add you to the email list um and i am also going to add this to the njentertainers.com website together with the video of the paper uh tissue paper mosaic that i did in february idea craft idea there is a page on njentertainers.com called Fun Free Stuff, and this video will go there. That video will go over there as a, in addition to future video that 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 future craft videos that I do. Plus, already up there, and I will be any more, are a couple of coloring pages that I drew myself, um, and some activity pages that I made up myself. We've got word searches and mazes and I've got crossword puzzles. I don't know how much of it is up there. I don't remember right now, but I'm going to be adding more tonight uh, for sure because I figure any time is a good time for that kind of thing, but especially when we're all out of school and stuck home, it's a great idea to have more things to do that you haven't had to around before so you're not bored. I like to make sure that all my friends at home are uh, enjoying themselves and not bored to tears and not just watching TV or video games or something like that. It's always fun to do more creative stuff and more thinking stuff. 
I've always preferred making things. I mean, I liked video games when I was a kid, don't get me wrong. My dad and I used to play Space Invaders a lot. And I was always a fan of Centipede. But I always liked to make things, which is how I ended up here. I was like painting and drawing and coloring and making things and figuring out puzzles and mazes and all that good stuff. So here we are wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and you can see it's getting fatter this way and the hole is getting smaller here. I just keep going around and going around and going around and it gets like that. And as long as it's pretty even, we're good. You don't want any one spot to be really fat and another spot to be really thin because that means you miss them. And that's because we're going to want it to be pretty even in the end. Whoop, what did I do? I lost one of my strands. There it is. If you're doing two strands together, make sure that you keep doing two strands together and you don't leave one behind. It would get lonely. So, Once you're done with these, if you make these at home, I'd love to see your creations. So if you send them back to me on through the uh, either email or in the Facebook Messenger, then I can feature your designs on uh, the web, the Facebook page too. I'd be happy to give you credit for it and what you made. So, because they all can be different. Like I'm using pipe cleaners and eyeballs, but nothing says that you can't have it. Um, excuse me, while I close an app. There we go. Nothing says that you can't use silk flowers on a wire stem and have flyers, flowers coming out of it all over the place or even at one spot over, you know, flowers in her hair kind of a thing. All right, this is almost done. I'm gonna go once back. All right. Now you can see that the hole is almost missing in here. And this is a nice fat thing. So we want this to come to the outside. I'm going to cut it off a little bit longer. So I'll cut that off later. And then, actually I'll wrap it back. Well, no, I'll cut it off later. And then we're going to go in between the two pieces of cardboard, if you can see that. I'm going to slip the scissor into there. Which is takes a little finesse. You can finesse it in. You want to make sure to hold everything in place as you do it. There we go. Oh, make sure that's not coming up. Let's stay down. Good job. Okay. And just a few at a time, we are going to cut through the yarn. And you can see there, hang on, see there how it's floofing? That's how it's turning into a pom-pom. Yay! I want this to be in between the two and like I said, just a few pieces of yarn at a time. Not many scissors could handle the whole thing at once. You'd have to have some very good scissors for that. I just heard a noise from the chickens. Maybe they wanted to make pom-poms too. But not having opposable thumbs, they're a little bit out of luck. At some point, I will have to do a video introducing you to the chickens and maybe the other animals. So we're working our way through. Maybe I'll start from the other. Oh, uh. Got that a little too deep in. I didn't follow my own advice and only try to do a few of the strands at once. I tried to do the whole thing. That doesn't work. We now have proof. I have been the guinea pig experimenter. And no, it doesn't work to do the whole thing at once. 
Alright. Alright. God, it's beautiful out today, isn't it? I hope you're all outside playing. And like I said, this video will be available with the other videos and other stuff so that Monday or Tuesday. Alright, now we can see the pom-pom is kind of pom-poming. Look at that. It's floofy. Now what we're going to do is take two nice long strands of yarn. See how long? It doesn't have to be quite that long, but that's okay. And we're cutting it together. I'm going to grab a drink of water. I tend to have it for myself and then forget about it. And it's very good to drink a lot of water. A lot of liquids in general, but definitely water. Water is healthy for you. Okay, now we're going to take this. And you have the two pieces of cardboard. I'm going to separate them a teeny bit. I'm going to put the yarn between the two pieces of cardboard and wrap it all the way around. All the way through so they meet at one spot. See that? And then we're going to take those two pieces and tie them nice and tight. Let's see. Gotta make sure it gets all the way around. And the cardboard isn't holding on to them. You want to make sure they get in between and the cardboard doesn't grab onto them. Nice and tight. Ah! Okay. Now, they are on this side. I'm going to wrap them back around. So the other side, again through the cardboard, I'm going to tie them nice and tight on this side also. Pull, 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 pull. Nice and tight. Cardboard is grabbing them. Stop grabbing. Okay. And then I'm going to double knot it so that it holds. This is the whole thing that's holding your pom-pom together. So you want this to be nice and strong. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it evenly because I didn't tie it evenly. Perfect. All right. Now we are ready to take off the two sides of the donut. It's easier if you start from the open spot and work it off. There's one. Here's what I didn't I missed cutting. Okay. That little, give that guy a little haircut. And over here we can take this, shake it around, and it floofs nicely, except you can see over here it's a little bit longer over here. So we're just gonna give it a little bit of a haircut on this side so it's nice and even. Perfect. See, Floofy, you now have your pom-pom. Now, in order to critter this guy up, I'm going to take the other half of the purple pipe cleaners, all the different colors of the pipe cleaners. I'm going to take the purple one that I chose for this guy, and I'm going to add it to this guy. Now. This long string is actually the string that you tied around the pom-pom make it a pom-pom. So if you can find the base of that, which is not too hard because you still have these long ones, you can take this and shove it underneath so that it's inside that string with all the other strands. See, it's in there. It's not going anywhere. And then you can pull this up so it's at the top. And facing up, and that way when you hold up, there they are, they don't go anywhere. And now what I did was I bent these forward, and you can have them going all crazy different ways. Let's have this one go this way. I like that even better. So the eyeballs are going to go off to the side.
And on this guy, you know what? I'm gonna use the bigger balls, like big medium sized ones. And on this one, I use medium ones. And I think I'm gonna use the big ones just for fun. Because googly eyes are just fun in general. Am I right? I'm right. Ah! Okay. Now, this is where the glue comes in. You put a bead of glue in the middle of the eyeball. Just do one at a time. And we're going to hold it to the pipe cleaner. You want to hold it for a little while because you don't want to fall off. You want to see it nice and solid. So, it was a little faster with the small eyeball, which is why I use them on the other one. But we're going to do the big one on this one. Just because it's fun and why not? And I want it to stand up and not sink down. So I'm going to hold this for a little while. And let's see if I can do this guy lefty. I'm not generally great lefty. Definitely not ambidextrous. I have friends who are, and they're lucky. But I am not. But let's see if we can't do this anyway. Ha ha! <laughs> and I'm just going to sit here a while holding eyeballs. But they're googly eyes, and they are awesome. So... I hope everybody is uh, having fun despite being stuck home. Hopefully this helps. And I hope everybody's washing your hands very, very frequently. It's important even when this isn't going on to so always wash your hands a lot. Every time you go to the bathroom, every time you can eat, all the time in general. I see one of my honeybees. I can't show you right now because I'm holding eyes. But I just saw one of my honeybees flying around a hive. That makes me happy. In nice weather like this, they fly. And it makes me very, very happy to see them because in the winter, I can never tell if they're still there because they don't come out in the cold. They don't come out in the cold or the rain or the snow. Just nice weather like today. Oh, that one's holding it, I think. Is it sinking? It's sinking. Whoops. This might have been a better idea with the smaller eyeballs. I may switch to smaller ones. Let's switch to smaller ones. See, sometimes you try things and you find out they didn't work out so well. But you can change it up and make it work. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take two of the smaller eyes. Whoop. And a little more glue. Start with this guy. Yeah, see, that's much better. Alright, so we try an experiment. And learned that smaller eyeballs stay better, which makes sense because they're lighter and they have less surface not on the pipe cleaner. The other eyes had a lot of surface above the pipe cleaner that made them want to tilt downwards because they got heavy at the top. That's what happened. These, you can see in the back. Pipe cleaner covers most of the surface. The other one is like that. And look! Pump up critter! <laughs> you can do these in different colors for holiday ornaments. You can hang them in a room. You can hang them from your bedpost. You can tack them up to the walls if mom and dad let you tack your walls. You gotta ask first for something like that, right? And now we have two different pom-pom critters. Whoops, face for you. There he is. She. It. Them. Ah. <laughs> They're so fun! I want to make a million of them now. I don't have enough eyes for a million. But hopefully you guys will make a million. And then you can send me pictures. And I can post them all on the Facebook page. That would be so much fun, right? And if you do coloring pages for many entertainers, send those to me. And I'll post those on the Facebook page, too. And that way, my work will be up there, your work will be up there, so many other entertainers' work will be up there. And we can all participate together. So, again, I hope everybody stays healthy. I hope everybody's having a great time. And I hope this helps. Fun making your little pom-poms and pom-pom critters. 
and I will see you again soon.